Hey everybody, welcome to the Soap Thing Project, or if you've been here before, welcome back. So for this shave, I have two superpowers sitting in front of me today, at least as far as popularity is concerned. We have Ariana and Evans and Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for the shaving soap and the aftershave. So let's start with the soap. We have Ariana and Evans Cherry Pie. And this is in Kaizen 2E, as you can see. And the scent on this as you might expect, is a cherry-oriented scent. There's a metric butt-ton of high-quality ingredients in this. Some of the highlights are beef tallow, goat's milk, cocum butter, shea butter, manteca, which is lard, aloe juice, lanolin, and emu oil. And how much is in this? 3.3 ounces is what it says on the container. I am a member of the Shaving Shop Club, paid member, so this is fairly expensive. I'm not going to mention what the price usually is, but I actually got this as a Black Friday deal, so I think I paid probably $14 for it. Usually it's a bit more expensive than that, but we're going to do a shave with it. Ariana and Evans Cherry Pie. And the aftershave is going to be Star Jelly from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and this is Tribute cherry and sandalwood and this is an homage or a tribute of sorts to so sharp david who is a fellow youtuber now i've been getting a lot of fantastic shaves out of the razor rock mamba lately so we're going to use that this is the mamba 70 in 316 stainless steel from razor rock this is made in canada and this is somewhere between 65 and 75 dollars the price is fluctuate just slightly, but that's usually where I'm finding them every time I look on Razor Rock's website. The blade is going to be my very, very, very first shave with the PAA Platinum Strange Lip Blades. So you're going to get an organic reaction out of me as far as how these blades perform. So that'll be the blade. And the brush is going to be from Eric Sorrentino. And this is a 22 millimeter metallic red on black handle. And the knot is from Maggard. It's a two-band badger. It's not even an SHD. It's just a plain old, plain Jane. And this has the Murphy and McNeil coin on it. Now, the story behind this is you buy this coin for $12.99, I think it is. And then you get the coin in the mail, and you also get early access to all their new releases over at Murphy and McNeil. So it's sort of vaguely similar to the Shaving Shop Club as far as their membership. So that'll be the brush. Let's do the shave.
Okay, here we go. Out of the jar and onto the face, we've got ProRazzo Red pre-shave today. Let's get this on the face and let's do a shave. Hope everybody is doing well. Having the greatest shaves humanly possible. And staying happy and healthy and active. That's what I'm hoping everybody's doing. Now the scent strength on this. We got the Ariana and Evans Cherry Pie lathered into my Langley City Shave Bowl. And the scent strength is about a 6 out of 5. I'm obviously being a smart ass when I say that, but this is most certainly a cherry baseball bat to the face. So let's get it on. So if you are sensitive to fragrance oils, you might approach with caution with this one. The way this knot is set, it's not the most willing splayer I've ever seen, but it's got really good uh, scrubbing and lather agitating properties. And once you get this uh, not hydrated, the hairs are very soft. So, loving this brush so far. Now this is going to be a good comparison video because I am just coming off of Murphy and McNeil Kodiak a few videos ago. And I talked that one up pretty highly, so this is going to be the definitive sort of comparison between K2E and Kodiak, if you want to go for that. So we've got the Razor Rock Mamba 70 with the PAA Platinum Strange Lip Blade in it. And this is my very first shave. Normally I will tend to try new things off camera first and then give you a more informed uh, opinion, but this time we're just going to do it for the first time. So let's get started right about here. So far, this is about 28 hours growth by the way. So far this blade feels really smooth. I was expecting it to be uh, sharper than it is, but it's very, very smooth. All right, so let's talk about the scent of Ariana and Evan's Cherry Pie. Cherry Pie with Rum and Oud. There's other notes in there that you might have seen at the uh, beginning of the video. But it says Cherry Pie, but in my personal opinion, it smells a lot more like grenadine to be honest with you it's a very animated scent which is my way of saying that it's not the most authentic smelling thing in the world uh it's not that medicinal cherry that some uh some soap makers use it's not medicinal smelling it's very sweet it's that kind of a sweet cherry I think the rum gives it a slightly boozy sort of facet to it and if you're worried about oud I wouldn't worry about this because the oud is a uh, a very subtle nuance and the rest of the notes that are in it are pretty much invisible unless you're really searching for them I think they just um, kind of are balancing things out but the scent I mean is it's a decent cherry scent Is it the best cherry scent I've ever smelled? Not really. Um, it's also not the darkest thing I've ever smelled. It, it doesn't smell as dark as I would expect it to. 
because a lot of A and E scents, especially fruity ones like Asian plum, Asian pear, that sort of thing, smell very dark and boozy. Uh, this one does, but very much less so. I want to do some more shaves with this uh, Platinum Strange Lip Blade. But so far, uh, my impression of this blade is, is that it's okay. It's just okay. It's a perfectly average blade. Um, I have had other blades that are both sharper and smoother and frankly more comfortable. But if you put me on a deserted island with platinum strange lip blades, I wouldn't complain. So that's my initial impressions of the uh, platinum strange lip blade is that it's a perfectly average feeling blade. I do have a nick right under here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's from slinging the razor around a little too optimistically. I really am impressed and thankful that this cherry scent uh, doesn't smell medicinal, like cough syrup. Uh, that's a really easy hole to fall into, and I've seen a lot of other soap makers do that, where they're going for a cherry scent, and it just smells like cough syrupy. Whereas this one very much has a bartender's grenadine sort of smell. So if you like how grenadine smells, like you go to a bar and you order a uh, Coca-Cola with grenadine, that's kind of what this smells like. It's actually very straightforward, and I kind of appreciate it for that. I was kind of in the mood for something straightforward and easy, this particular shave. I'm noticing I'm having to do a lot of touch-ups. Thankfully, this Kaizen 2E uh, has great residual slickness properties. I still maintain that, uh, that Kodiak has better primary slickness, but the residual slickness on this um, is pretty close to Murphy and McNeil's Kodiak. I'm not gonna rack and stack soap bases. I will say that it deserves to be said that this is a higher quality and slicker soap base than most. I will give it that. I mean, I'm just blade buffing the heck out of my face, and my face is taking it. And it's because of the ingredients in the soap. It is absolutely good to go. Now, I'm having to do a lot of blade buffing because the Platinum Strange Lip Blade really isn't hacking much off. Now, I've only got about 28 hours growth. If I had 48 hours growth, which is what I new, normally film videos on, it might be hacking hair off a little bit easier because it's got something to grab onto. All right, let's do a rinse. Oh. 
did have a nick right down there, but it might be perfectly content to stop on its own. So if you don't count that, uh, it looks like a pretty stellar shave. So let's do an off-camera alum block and then the aftershave. Okay, off-camera, I did use my piece of crap ProRazzo alum block. I'm joking. It's not ProRazzo's fault that this thing is falling apart, but it's still perfectly usable, so we used it. And I did get some slight stinging feedback all over my face, and I'm going to blame that on the fact that I did a little too much blade buffing. So since I did a little too much blade buffing, I don't normally use witch hazel after a shave unless it's a little bit of a rough one. So I'm going to use some Lucky Tiger uh, after shave and face tonic, and this does have uh, witch hazel and a few other high quality ingredients in it. So we're going to put some on the face. And this has a sweet citrus sort of scent that lasts about 0.2 seconds and then it disappears. But the effects on the face are incredible, especially if you get a rough shave. Okay, not that this was rough, but it was a little less comfortable than I would normally prefer. That's my fault, again. It's probably not even the blade, it was just my, my fault. So I need to try these uh, blades a little bit more and see if I can dial them in. Okay, time for some PAA Tribute Star Jelly. Let's put a little squirt of that on the face and that looks exactly like this. It's not even an aftershave balm, it's like an aftershave goop. And the ingredients in it, you can look them up if you want, are not <laughs> the greatest sounding ingredients to put on your face. But I gotta tell you, it leaves your face feeling like a million bucks. It's one of the better aftershave balms I've ever seen. Now, my final thoughts on Ariana and Evan's cherry pie. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? Oh boy. No. No, I don't think I would. And here's why. Uh, the scent on this is just okay for me. I could pretty much take it or leave it. And when I feel that way about a soap, I'll usually tend to leave it. Now, the fact that I'm saying no to it is very subjective, so don't take my word for it. If you think you're going to like the scent, go ahead and try it. I'm just not a big enough fan of it for it to stick around once it's exhausted. So I'll probably use it all to an empty tub and then wipe my hands of it. Now, let's talk about my thoughts on Kaizen 2E more specifically. Um... My honest opinion of this is that I think it was really overhyped. Not by Peter Charcalis. Peter didn't do anything. It was overhyped by all the A&E bros, the fanboys who were just salivating over this like it was the most amazing thing you could possibly put on your face. And it isn't. It's good. It's very good, but I, would, I wouldn't say it's the best. So I think the A&E bros kind of overplayed this just a little bit, you know, because I had high, high, high expectations for this when I bought it and I got it and I started using it and I was like, eh, it's good. It's really good, but it's not truly incredible. That's my personal opinion. Take it or leave it. And if you don't like it, well, call the cops. Cuff him and stuff him. Okay, that'll be it for the Soap Thing Project today. I want to thank everybody for watching and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you Shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.